Hi, Miss Bill Potter. Um, so based on this week's reading, which was group theater, um, I found out a lot of new interesting things. I haven't really heard much about group theater before, so it was quite new um, and a very interesting read. I liked that they kind of took off of Stanislavski and created this group that was aiming to stay collective and together, which I kind of think is similar to a high school experience as I am a high school teacher. Um, you know, you have the same teacher director and then you have four years of hopefully these same students who are working together collectively. Um, now granted they go out of the program, but um, it is similar style. So I find that very interesting. Um, I apologize about the kitten, we just got him. Um, but yeah, so that was very interesting. I liked that idea. I don't like that it fell apart and it just kind of couldn't withstand American theater and the culture that we have with Hollywood and um, with Broadway and that constant switching out of roles to see new talent, um, which you know has its pros and its cons. Uh, so that was very interesting. I also found the effective memory very interesting because um, I've studied that type of Stanislavski method, um, although it is more Strasbourg than it is Stanislavski originally. Um, it was hard, it is challenging. You know, we did a lot of techniques of drawing from your own emotions and there is that hard separation sometimes in the moment of being spontaneous versus not where um, you want to be spontaneous and in the moment and react the way a character would, but you're trying to trigger your own emotions, which is hard, and it can just put you in two separate mindsets, which I don't appreciate personally as an actor, um, but it does have its pros. If you've gone through something similar and that's an easier way to trigger a realistic emotion, it's great as long as it's been healed. I think that the trauma and the emotions need to be healed or in a better place for an actor to draw them out to be realistic with this character. Otherwise, I do believe it can cause hysteria within the actors. Um, so that was very interesting. I was also, Strasberg, I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly, um, Strasberg, when he was so attached to effective uh, memory and effective emotion, and not being able to see the changes that Stanislavski himself was giving and showing and proving and, you know, to keep from that hysteria is hard. I think that's hard because as leaders, as a teacher, you have to constantly be growing and learning more about the art that you're in and the different methods and trying new things. So for him to be a little closed-minded and not looking, listening to Adler um, when she came back with all this information about it, it's hard. That is hard to hold on to that ideal, that idealism and that idea and not let it go being able to grow and develop. So that was very interesting for me to read about. Um, regarding the other article, it was very interesting to see, you know, the article was felt a little dramatized where it was like, was it a success? Was it a failure? And I guess in a sense, I'm not even very sure. Um, but it was, it was a very interesting read. Um, it was kind of cool to learn about how his information, Strasberg's information was secondhand and then again he's learning secondhand about um, Stanislavski so I could understand the confusion. So that's kind of what I've gathered from the reading and um, I think one of the biggest things that I took as a takeaway would be the exercise where they talked about having an object, feeling it, looking it, observing it, seeing the details, taking it away and seeing what the actors can remember or what they um, took away from it and their details to see what they're missing and how they can think deeper um, and get into that critical thinking, which as a teacher, I love. Um, so I think I'll be using that exercise a little bit more. I do use the imaginary where, you know, it's as light as a feather versus a bowling ball. So I think adding in that here's an object, take it away. How many details do you miss? Would get them to think a little more critical. So. That's my takeaway from these, this week's reading.